MXG Town Hall 9, we're back with another video featuring the strategy. What is up my friends, my name is Ek and we're back at Town Hall 9 inside of Refractory 9 showing you guys the attack strategy that I brought to you guys a day or two ago. It's called the MXG attack strategy and again, it's a modification of the Avalanche attack from Town Hall 9 from years ago. Composition looks like this, 6 hogs, 4 wall breakers, 23 wizards, 3 golem. In the clan castle you're going to have a golem as well. You have 1 jump, quad quake, a poison, a skeleton spell, aka the guard spell, and a jump spell. So what we're doing here guys is taking the base with golem, throwing wizards behind to funnel the base, sending the heroes a bunch of golem and wizards inside of the base, and then sending hog riders in one at a time to pick away defenses so that you can completely crush the entire base. You're usually dropping the earthquake spell somewhere in the center so the attacker can access all compartments of the base. I'm going to show you five more examples of this attack right here today. Before I do, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for daily clash videos on this YouTube channel, but wait, I do have a second channel over on the Echo, what is it? Echo Mobile Gaming channel, that's what I call it. Echo Mobile Gaming, you can see it right here as well as it's linked down below. Over there, we're gonna be doing Blizzard Mobile content where you're gonna see everything that has to do with Blizzard Mobile games. I'm really excited about it. Clash is not stopping, that's gonna be on this channel. Hopefully you guys are subscribed to both, watch both videos, comment on both, like on both, do everything you can on both. So the MXG attack strategy is happening right here and we're going to watch it and break it down as it does go down. And we have three golems starting out that tankage from the north eastern side of the base. All the wizards behind. Remember you have 27 I believe it was wizards behind. So you could go heavy handed on the wizards in the beginning of the attack. You want to make sure it's essential that your king and queen go into the base. Look at this quad quake opening up the entire base. We could have a jump spell drop somewhere over here later on in the attack allowing for those troops to push straight on through. But right now the quad quake was used to open up the beginning of the base rather than the center probably because of that huge island in the center of the base. Notice that clan castle lore and something I mentioned in the previous video. When you have so many wizards, you don't have to worry about air troops coming out of the clan castle because wizards can take care of them. This is an attack strategy that you don't need to only rely on your queen to take down any air troops that come out of the clan castle, especially those dragons, those balloons, maybe even electro dragon at other town hall levels. We have the golem jumping through and right where I pushed it before. I mean, talk about prediction right there, guys. That's where the jump spell was dropped. Queen's going in and it looks like her golem is tanking decently for her right there. Her ability is going to have to be Pop, pop that ability. Actually, the ability was missed on that right there, guys. Yet, the attack is still going to triple. So, mistakes are made. It happens. It happens to all of us. It especially happens to me. But it's kind of cool to show that even with missing the queen's ability, this attack strategy is still able to triple in war. The golem is still tanking that archer tower. And uh, we're still pulling a triple. That was sweet. Second example of the five from today, really weird base design here. A couple of islands that are kind of split up by those uh, wall pieces that can kind of mess up your pathing on a base. But let's see how the pathing works on this one. Notice that solo wizard right down here doing a great job taking some things out before being taken out by the cannon, getting good value out of that one wizard. Now the golem are coming in from the eastern side of the base with all the wizards behind, again setting a funnel. There's another early on in the attack earthquake spell. On the last video, the attacker was usually using them in the center of the base, but in this video, he's using them early on, and you could tell why. If you take a look at the bases, you have these long compartments that allow the troops to just walk straight on through. In this one, I would guess that the jump spell will be used right on that air sweeper. We'll see see if I'm right yet again, and that'll allow them to path into those final compartments of the base. Nice job with that rage spell on the queen, on the king, on the golem, and whatever few wizards are behind them as well. Nice job pushing through. We have a wizard on the town hall as well. Looks like that wizard is going to be safe and out of range of that wizard tower. The jump spell is exactly where I thought it would go and allowing these tropes to push straight on through. Then the hog riders being dropped in nice and carefully. Wall breakers weren't even needed in this attack, honestly. 
most of the attacks I've seen, the wall breakers were not needed. When you have a jump and a quad quake, you really don't need the wall breakers. If you'd want, you could bring along a two, ex two extra wizards, but it's not a bad idea to have a few wall breakers in your back pocket in case something happens and they just you just get stuck and you need to get them through. Example number three is here, and so far, if you've made it this far into the video, hashtag made it, and throw a thumbs up on the video because you made it this far, and that means that you really either like the strategy, like hanging out with me, or just are a good YouTube watcher. And for whatever the reason may be, I appreciate it, so thank you. All right, so we just said we don't need wall breakers, but now they are being used. The wall breakers just open up that first compartment. We're going to be seeing probably a quad quake in the center of the base and follow it up by a jump spell later on in the attack. Here comes the quad quake, opening up all of those compartments, and the jump spell will probably use somewhere over here later on. But the wizards are in behind that golem that was just dropped, and the clan castle golem is still in the clan castle. Looks like we had the King's ability being used right there, and he went ham in the center of the base, taking out a whole bunch of stuff while his ability was uh, was used. Now, the Queen is pretty darn safe back there, guys. When you have the Golem in front, the Queen can just go straight on through. Splash damage, point damage, doesn't really matter. Hog Riders are being dropped down south, and they were being tanked for by those Golem for, the, for a little while there. Then they kind of path on through. Remember, Golem do strike defenses. They do take them down. It just takes a while. You would think a Golem would be strong, being made of solid rock. Yet, they don't strike very hard at all. Giants strike a lot strong, harder than the Golem do, and I'm curious. You think people would ever do this strategy utilizing Giants instead of Golem? I don't know. It would be entertaining to see. If you think you can do that, let me know in the comments below. And if you do it, let me know in a comment or on Twitter, where you can find me at Echo Through Me. That's the best way to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments. Honestly, it's probably even easier to get in touch with me on Twitter because, well, the comments get crazy sometimes, guys. With 12 seconds left, the Hog Riders will rush their way to this final Builder Hut. And that is going to be it, the end of the attack as they strike on home on that hut six hog riders in the composition really get some great value and three of them still stood pretty sweet attack number four coming in at you guys with those sweepers facing in opposite directions in the center of the base sweepers mean absolutely nothing when you're going in by the ground so that's pretty nice i do like this base because of the two island expos yet we're going to see how this attack the axg strategy takes down this base even though the uh mxg sorry not axg what am i even talking about the mxg attack strategy while going into the base into those islands that i actually think are a good design there's the quad quake, and that's kind of getting rid of one of the islands. Did it get that center section? No, the base is still intact for that second island. We have the king, the queen, the golem, wizards trying to push into the base. Does the king get redirected? The king actually does path along the outside, and it looks like he's not going to go back into the base. The queen is, though. Nice job with the poison spell, rage spell as well. The golemite is going to tank a little bit there. Now, the king, his ability was popped, and now, I guess... MX squared 2 is thinking, I better at least funnel all this stuff out of the base since the king did go along the outside. If you remember me saying either in this video or the last, you really want to keep your heroes in the center of the base. Well, in this time, in this case, it didn't happen. Yet, it's still going to work. Look at the wall breakers being used right here, allowing that golem to get into the base. It's going to do a nice job tanking that art, that expo allow the wizard to get in behind as well take it out and then the queen can just step up into these compartments walk her way through the base and take out what's left her ability is intact there's a wizard and two hog riders left as well and that skeleton spell which we haven't really featured too much in this video but it's another way to take down defenses in a compartment that you may not be able to get to Right now, the queen taking down the final few defenses, taking down that final archer tower. The rest is clean up. We're at 98% with the MXG attack strategy, not the AXG. And here we go. The final attack from this war, the final attack from this video, and the final attack from the two video series that I brought you on the MXG coming at you guys for Town Hall 9. What I would like for you to do while we watch this is train up this army. This is what I typically say with new attacks. Train it up and try and take it 
into friendly challenges with your friends. See if you can get it to work. This is not a strategy where you just spam it all in, throw two jumps, rages, and heal in the middle. This is one where you have to actually be just strategic where you're going to quad quake, where your jumps are going to be dropped, and you know where the attack is going to actually path through the base. This one's not one of luck. It's one of more of a skill and really understand the pathing of your troops, the important parts of the base that need to get taken down. So base identification is also important in this one as well. Although, 10 bases, one war, seems like this strategy can work on any base. So at least you're identifying in the base what's what your attack is vulnerable to. So you know where to go with the spells, where you know so you know how to drop those troops properly. I mean, you gotta understand bases. It's part of attacking in this game. I mean, this is a base building game, isn't it? When I look at this base, I see about four defenses left, a Tesla, a bomb tower, an archer tower, and a mortar. Not a lot left here, guys, and the queen with her ability, wizards, wall breakers left over. This is what I'm talking about. The strategy has been proven. All max Town Hall 9 bases were being attacked in this video and in the prior video. Everyone was a max level Town Hall 9, yet this attack strategy crushed every single attack that it was done on. I think the attacker said he had 25 three stars in a row using this strategy. So not only do I want to thank you guys for coming through today's video, I want to thank you for always coming through the videos, always showing support, and keeping that subscribe button pushed with the bell rung so you don't miss out on what comes out daily. I always want to see who is going to be the first to actually write first. I don't even know where that came from. But it seems that it's a very popular thing to do on YouTube. So I always try and check out who actually made it there first. It shows no those are on or you got extremely lucky and happened to just be waiting when the video went live. Either way, thank you guys. Remember, I do have a new Instagram account. You could find it right here. Very small right now, but we're trying to grow it because, you know, I should be on Instagram as well as on Twitter. Twitter's where I really hang out, but Instagram is kind of a new thing we're, we're kind of working on. And also, you see I'm repping the G Fuel today, guys. You can head over to gfuel.com and save 10% on all your G Fuel products products using code echo so why not but that's been it for today i'm out of here remember to check out the second channel and check out this video to make your day i'll see you guys back here later on today with another video until then be good